My name is John Crello. I'm the <coughs> president and co-founder of Wimser. What if everyone in this room had the ability to connect with everyone in this room before you got to this event? And you were able to find out the CMO is sitting in the front row and the person in back is the perfect board member for your company. At Wimser, we're connecting people before arriving at any destination or event in the world. And what this is doing and how we're benefiting people, on the left hand side are users, we're benefiting travelers and event goers, uh, event organizers and convention center and tourism boards. Uh, for travelers, they can connect with locals and <coughs> travelers before arriving at any destination or event in the world. So that way they can get personalized recommendations from pl on places on where to go, where to eat, where to sleep, and of course, where to have fun. For our event goers, we're letting them network ahead of time for business events and finding their squad for social events. Maybe go grab a beer after or whatnot. It's up to them. They own their experience and how they're connecting with people uh, depending on the business or social event that they're going to. Uh, they will also have all the event details before arriving at an event. They can purchase tickets, um, social networking, and also get live event updates from either Windsor or the event organizer, which I'll talk about in one second. Our event organizers, after we came out with our event-based mobile application, uh, events started contacting, contacting us constantly. And what they really needed was a full-service mobile application. So through Wimser, we're able to provide them with a full-service mobile application, just as you have for Coachella or for any business event you're attending. It's all within the app, and it benefits the user as well, so that way they're not having to download multiple applications um, from where they're going. Uh, and the event organizer can have their event details on a mobile application, event communication, both with everyone going to the event as well as one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, live event updates. Uh, they can sell tickets using any link um, that they have that they're working with. And then, of course, they can provide additional links for additional information if they're having, depending on trade shows or concerts or whatever they're having, they can have different uh, links to make sure it all um, th well, this ends in the pilot stage, but we believe that convention center and tourism boards have a, a, a really big benefit. They want you to look like this after they're leaving their city, right? So, <laughs> Ideally. <laughs> right? That's the ideal. Yeah. Um, and we're connecting people before they arrive. So this, like the convention center and, and tourism boards actually have the opportunity to connect with travelers coming into their city before they ever step foot here. So they can be the ones recommending the best attractions the best airline prices, best events, best hotels, you name it, um, before they arrive as well as when they're in their city so they have a live, uh, uh, real-time way of connecting with people. Um, our Tier 1 monetization plan right now, uh, we're working with event organizers and providing them the full-service mobile application. Um, our Tier 2, um, on our app people are saying where they're going before they arrive and luckily for us before they're booking we're beating TripAdvisor and Eventbrite to a first contact advantage. So on our tier two piece, we actually have the ability to benefit users and provide them the best prices on airlines, the best prices on hotels, Airbnb, transportation, restaurants, clubs, and events that they uh, would be interested in. And we pull that interest in based on their uh, Facebook interest at this time. Uh, what is your accomplishment? Accomplishments to date, we've been used in over 100 countries and 2,000 cities. Uh, we're a top event mobile application. Uh, we've had celebrity Q and A's with the likes of Trill Owens. Um, we've been used on our users uh, 150 page views, and we've had national and local media coverage thanks to the Sacramento Bee and Business Journal. Um, the event mobile application. The events that are using us as their event mobile application, uh, Matt Back the Celebrity Basketball Game was at Sleep Train Arena this past uh, summer. Legends of Sports is an, a golfing event held by Super Bowl champion Derek Deeks of the 49ers. Glow Winter Wonderland is here at Cal Expo, uh, as, well as, as well as to Larry. Uh, the Super Fan Chase was a Super Bowl themed event happening in the Bay Area for Super Bowl 50. 
and SWAT Spring Break is the largest uh, college spring break company on the West Coast, and they have festivals with literally the top DJs in the world. Um, and then add your event to really kind of keep the customers and uh, users really. Yeah, happy, and I think I that's think. a win-win. Yeah, yeah, yeah that win -win. absolutely. You just want the branding piece on the branding side, and then. Okay. Cool. Just yeah, it's awesome. super easy to understand. I mean, just use your own. Think, yeah. You know. Yeah. That's the way. Cool. Yeah. So if Perfect. my event yeah. is that well known, then they're coming to my website anyway. Can't they just click on a button or a link, and it would automatically take me to the app? Maybe it's called Whimsor. Maybe the yeah. labeling is different because they came in through my site. Right. And, but it is the same Whimsor app, whether yeah. it's called by my name or by Which, whichever. Which. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, one million cups powered by Windsor, or right. whatever, whatever, right. that, yeah. whatever. But that's still that's a right. co-branding, and I like that. Yeah, Keep whatever. Because then you're going to get name recognition too. So yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know, absolutely. Well, it always should be co-branding, yeah. right? But if I'm paying big dollars, like California um, tourism, yeah, I, I'm not going to want Windsor CA tourism. No, I, right. I want my own app. I pay right. big bucks for that. Right. If you want to co-brand it at the bottom, <laughs> right. that's cool. Right. But there's a different price point, right? Right. So that leads me to um, right. a suggestion: is the quickest way I think for you to crack the tourism, the big event yes. code, is to find the PR firms and the advertising firms mm. that handle those people. Smart. Okay. You create those relationships. Not only do you now get California Board of Tourism, yeah. but every other city that they may handle that has a tourism or any other thing that may need an app, you smart. become part of their package. Smart. Yeah. Yeah, smart, smart. John, can I yes. call, how are you monetizing? Um, currently, uh, we're doing the, uh, working with event organizers. Okay. And, uh, is uh, it a percentage or is it a? Right now we're doing an upfront fee. Okay. After their first event, <coughs> we want them to make sure it's successful for the event. If we're not creating value for your events, we shouldn't be getting paid, right? So. That's kind of how we think of it at Whimsor. Um, so we want to make sure that we're benefiting your events. So the first event's free. If it's really working, you're liking what you're seeing, then you don't have to go out and build your own app, which costs 50,000, 100,000, you name it. And we, like I said as well, we're up and running within a day. So, so rather are you on the, Are you on the web too? Um, the mobile application? I mean, is okay. there a website? Um, there's, a, there's a website, just a regular landing page at this time. Right. But it would be. Have you have you looked into Angular 2 at all as far as the building platform? Because Angular 2 is the piece that will allow you to, to yeah. avoid having to have an Android. It just optimizes yeah. and pushes everything down in an optimized manner. So. Yeah, we looked at that at the beginning of time. Um, but beginning of time, whole alert. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you look great. I'm going to the you should have been a beauty product. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just, no, no, no. I have no fault. <laughs> no. Okay. That's um, quick. Well, you found out that the best experience for users with mobile applications with the native. I, I can just tell you, the corporate folks, if you can't, if yeah. they can't see it on, if yeah. my kids can't see it here, it does not exist. Yeah. But if I'm sitting in an office right. and I can't see it on a website, it doesn't yeah. exist. Right. So you got you got to disconnect until right. these two worlds emerge. So. Right. Right. Good point. <clears throat> yes. Number of paying customers. Uh, fifteen right now. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. good sign. So, How many users? How many users? Uh, we're up to over 150,000 page views, over 50,000 connection clicks. So every click, click, click. Um, and then uh, users would still like to hold to the company right now. But um, that's, you know, our, our, really, if you look at our action items, it's all based around growth, right? So just like uh, every, company startup challenges are growing so um, that's where we're at right now and we really want to um, light a fire under the growth phase and just start kind of we're ready to expand and blow it out of the water like we want to kind of grow as fast as we can in a uh, professional way yeah. did I miss the uh, launch date or your establishment date when, when you oh. when you jumped out yeah, so we launched in the summer of 2014. Okay, did I miss that in the slides? No, or yeah. Was it not no, there? it wasn't there. I would put it in there because that, well, yeah. it, it's a, some people can say double edge, oh, we haven't hit it big yet in two years, but 
Yeah. By the same time, you get a lot of uh, credit for yeah. stick to itness. You've been okay. You've been nailing so funded. Great point. Right. Um, yeah. The then to, similar feedback uh, for the, as the last slide said is that if you can put any kind of time frame into your model, your financial model, yeah. such as we're at this today or today or in action in yes. motion, you may have gone through a phase previously where you were just free. Right. Like for six months right. or for right. ten things, you may have had that as your first part of your financial model, which is no finances. <laughs> um, but um, and then which which model things, which I assume is past tier one. You're at tier one now, and the yeah. tier two is a future. Right. You're working on those relationships to to enhance the model. In right. That. Right. If you can add a, a time okay. frame now, now. Okay. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. And down the road too, I mean, employee yeah, expanding and growing. Mm -hmm. Sold or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, yes, yeah. sir. Uh, my wife and I run a foundation, a nonprofit, and wow. we do 20 to 30 fundraisers a year wow. around the country. Wow. And actually, we're looking into wow. doing an app that would be have specific functions for what we do. Right. It sounds like you may have a platform. Yeah. That. So, um, yeah, we do, you know, we do, uh, it's usually a dinner, live silent auction okay. kind of thing. Absolutely. So, is that. That's the kind of fit. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we, uh, I got to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I may have missed it, but is there like, a, I know the first event is free, but is there an average kind of cost to? Yeah. Uh, good question. So it, it tears out based on the amount of people that are going to your events <coughs> because you have a chance to monetize on them as well. So we're looking to, uh, if whatever we're charging, we're looking to five times that. So for an event that we charge $299 for one event, and then a monthly unlimited, and then a yearly unlimited, um, we're looking to have the event organizer also make the five times on what, what we're charging. So it tears out depending on the amount of people that you have going to an event. So for a 1,500 to 3,000 event, it would be approximate $299 for one single standing event. And then that would kind of tear you, yeah. tear you from there. Just gives a ballpark. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For, for a whole mobile one. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got time for a couple more questions if there's any more. Yes, sir. So uh, a lot of details about if I'm an event organizer, how, what, what I can yeah. use your platform for. I'm not seeing, I, I, maybe I missed it, but I'm not seeing it as, a, as an event goer. Okay. As an attendee, I'm not clear as to what I can do on your app other than get information. Oh. So you, you can connect with people, but what what else? Could, what does that mean to connect with someone? Well, I have some extra credit slides if you want to walk through those. Bring it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I want to present you guys with all the benefits, so that way you can really grasp what we're doing, how the action items will work, and really kind of just be a really good Q and A session. But um, so here's our features of what we have. So if you download Wimser, this is your home page every time. You can add your events, you can add your destinations just at a click of a button. And you'll also click on your hometown to meet people coming into your city as well. Um, you can connect with people one-on-one. -on -one. You can chat with everyone going to any destination or event. Um, you'll have the event guest list so you can scroll down and see who's going. Um, You'll have your event details. You can purchase tickets, and you have the location, the time, and we have a little bit of branding for you guys, so as well as your names. And then if they hit, I'm going to that event. Um, they hit, I'm going. Then they really kind of get into this, the, all these pieces of connecting and whatnot. And um, they will also receive push notifications from that event organizer or from us for updates for that event as well. Do you know if someone from your hometown is like near you? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Or, or <laughs> I was just thinking yeah. that. I have a friend who ended up in Alaska at the same time I was this summer. We literally were within a mile of each other. We grew up together. I haven't seen her in years. Yeah. And just, somebody was like, hey, she's there on Facebook. And so I was like, oh, I need coverage. And so I found her. But, like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know how you do it, but. 
Yeah. Um, Good luck. I know yeah. that it's possible because it's done on other apps. So I'm yeah. Just yeah. Curious. yeah. Yes. Yes. It, yeah, it's definitely done on other apps. I'm actually a, a researcher. It wasn't what this room is expression, expressing. A lot of people have privacy concerns with like, are you walking by a bar? Like, well, I mean, you could. But, but yeah, you can turn off. Yeah, I don't know what does mean It's a very direct command. Yeah, we definitely want to really protect people's privacy and start our mobile application, which is uh, other businesses haven't quite done that. We've seen kind of where they almost kind of just jump over the line. But I like, I really like giving the user the ability. To do what they want. So, if if this whole room that was that was exciting for you guys. So, if you want to go to a destination and you do walk around and wow, there's yeah, I just kind of like geolocator, right? If I yeah, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, but I want the option. I don't yeah. want everybody to know. Turn on, turn on. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thank you, appreciate it. All right, one last any last question? One more. Yes, so this this um, your extra credit slides here. The, um, you're calling it your features. I would consider you could even uh, scope it as your your use model. Okay. That, you know, okay. Specifically, how how the customer uses the product. What's the typical flow? Yeah. And you, right now, you have it on multiple slides, and so you have all the information. If yeah. you wanted to show a, a connection of, of how they string it together in a, an overview slide, and then mm -hmm. go into the details of uh, okay. slides uh, after that. But, yeah. Okay.